Okay, the fourth level of difficulty on solving equations involving harder fractions. And this time, two examples, and you can see that each denominator is involving x, and three of them are linear functions of x. And what we do is multiply both sides by the product of the denominators. So the product of the denominators in the first example is x times x plus 4. So that's what we're going to multiply the both sides of the equation by. So x times x plus 4 times 5 over x equals 3 lots of x times x plus 4 all over x and x plus 4. And we can see that the x plus 4 on the top on the right hand side cancels with the x plus 4 on the bottom of the right hand side and on the left hand side the bottom x cancels with the top x and we're left with 5 into x plus 4 is equal to 3x. And expanding the brackets leaves us with an equation with x on both sides. So that's nice and easy. We should be really adept at doing that now. So we take away 3x from both sides, take away 20 from both sides, 2x is minus 20x is minus 10. And then it's algebra, so we check by substitution. Easy peasy. So 5 over minus 10 is equal to 3 over minus 10 plus 4. And the right-hand side cancels, uh, calculates to 3 over minus 6. And both sides look at minus a half. So the left-hand side is equal to right-hand side, and so x is minus 10 is the right answer. Brilliant. In the next example, let's see a faster way. We're going to multiply both sides by 3 minus x times 2x minus 1, because that's the product of the denominators. But what happens, if you, if you notice on the first example, the x plus 4 is moved from the bottom right to the top left, and the x on the bottom left has moved to the top right. And that's the pattern. That's, that's what's going to happen. That 2x minus 1 is going to move up to be multiplied by the 2 on the right-hand side, and the 3 minus x on the bottom right is going to move up and multiply the 7 on the left-hand side. So we get 7 into 3 minus x equals 2 into 2x minus 1. And if we expand the brackets out, again, we're left with an equation with x on both sides. So I'm going to add the 2 on, and I'm going to add the 7x on to both sides. And that leaves me with 23 is equal to 11x. Divide by 11, x is 23 over 11. It's algebra, so it's checked by substitution. We've got 7 into, well, 2 lots of x is 46 over 11, and minus 1 is minus 11 over 11. And then the right-hand side is 2 over 3 lots of 23. Sorry, 3 is 33 over 11, and we've got take away an x, and x is 23 over 11. So we're going to take away 23 over 11. So the, all the 11s on the bottom will cancel, and we're left with 7 over 35 is equal to 2 over 10, which both cancel down to a fifth look. So the left-hand side equals right-hand side. So x is 23 over 11 is the right answer. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Have a look at my other videos and tutorials. Bye for now.